Hey guys, this is Zoltan Battery from Five Finger Net Punch. You're watching Kerrang! Podcast. Yep. Hello and welcome to the Kerrang! Podcast. It's day three of download here. I'm with Zoltan from uh, Five Finger Death Punch. Uh, tell us a bit about this uh, background oh, that's, scenery. That's Bush. That's uh, George, our friend. We picked him for the perfect scenery, you know. Big fan of rock music. Yeah, big music. fan of rock music. Yeah. So uh, you, you played uh, on the main stage earlier today. How was we it did. Because it sounded like thunder. It is. Yeah, it was happened. thunder. I mean, uh, what to know about this one? Uh, the previous time we were here, it was I think in the last 25 years the first time that they had to pull the plug actually. Right. So if you see every organizer have a little red card and it says stop show, so they can get red card you and you have to stop. That's because of us. Right. Um, basically, you kind of inside the riot. So this time we behaved. It still, you know, it was still, um, you know, fairly chaotic. But you know, this time no pulling plugs and you know it, it, it went down really nice. Oh, I mean, what's, it, sure. what's it like uh, you know being on stage and staring at like uh, at a sea of people? Well you know this is the kind of thing that you, you dream of when you're a kid you know and then you think that it's gonna happen but you don't really think it's gonna happen but then you do think it's gonna happen and it happens. Yeah. I, I mean it's it's there is not really a feeling. I think that that's why every rock you can do, do it. You know, it's, there's nothing really you can compare it to. It's like, especially when he's singing the lyrics, you know, of songs that you wrote, and there's like I don't know, eight thousand people in. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, you cannot compare it to anything. It's, it's pretty amazing. What are the nerves like when you're climbing the stairs to get on the stage? Um, tell you, no, that's that's different for everyone. I don't. It's to me, it's weird. I never, I never get nervous. I don't have that. You know, I compete. I compete in five different fights in judo, jiu-jitsu, this and that. Same thing there. I never, I don't get nervous. Right. But, uh, I guess uh, maybe I'm a sociopath. I don't, know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't have the, I don't have this thing built in. But you know, I don't really get nervous. Um, to me, the bigger the crowd is, the better. Uh, if anything could frazzle me, if, if um, let's say. You know when you cut your festival and you didn't have a line check, sun check, anything. You know, and you don't know yet what's going on. And okay. let's say, let's say if it was the very first show, so it's a new set. Maybe I have a new guitar or new equipment. So when all those variables are brand new, then it would be like, oh shit, you know, yeah. I have to pull this up. But other than that, it, it has to be a lot of variables unknown for me to be kind of you know, nervous about. It. Was today's one uh, show one of your favorites? In five figure death you know, uh, download is always one of the it's one of the biggest festivals in the world. So, so it's always the one, and this is we, we are in Europe for um, five weeks now, yeah. and so this is pretty much the last show. There, there's one more thing more, but that's that's about it. And uh, so it's kind of a it's a perfect it's a perfect finish. You know, this is this is as I said one of the biggest one. You know, it's always fun to yeah, yeah. come back here, especially when uh, when the rumor is that we are banned from the festival. <laughs> It's an extra joy to it. Yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> so you've got a new album in the bag. You're going to be yes. releasing that soon. Tell us about that. So we did actually two new albums. Right. So basically, we did, uh, we did, uh, we did, we just started to record, and it was, you know, it was perfect moment and perfect time. You know, just material was coming out better and better, and then we were like, okay, let's keep writing. Ended up with about 24, 25 songs, and that's the moment when you decide, well, let's the one the 10 best ones yeah. and the rest really bonus tracks or whatever and we couldn't pick it right we were like okay well i can't lose that one no we need that oh that one definitely need so we couldn't decide it and we told the label like okay guys we have a good problem the good yeah. problem is we have 24 songs the problem is we can't decide which one are the 11 they said okay give it to us they called back okay um yeah, you can't decide it either, so that's how we ended up with But it's staggering. Yeah, when will that uh, be released? The first one comes out in the end of July. Right. And uh, originally we were going to release both of them at the same time. But 24 songs is a lot of material to dump on. You know, yeah. you know, to me it takes about 2-3 weeks. Maybe some records a couple of months to completely digest. You know? So we figured if it's Tiger, if one of them comes out now, the other maybe uh, October, yeah. then you have enough time to get used to the first one. Right. What's, the, what's, what's the plan? The, what's the best one called? The first, the, basically, the title was originally when we were going to put out both, was uh, The Wrong Side of Heaven and The Righteous Side of Hell. Right. But once we decided that we're going to stagger them, we just put the whole title that I can't pronounce on, in one piece yeah. into the recorder and it's going to be volume one and volume two. Yes, uh, we have some special guests and uh, really pirate. I mean, uh, the first single was featuring Rob Hofford. Yeah. 
and that was an amazing experience, you know. So thunder comes right now, strike me down, and be good. Okay. We did a song with Rob Halford, you know. Yeah, so yeah. I'm good. So, so he's he's one of the guests, and then and it was just an amazing experience. He actually came to Las Vegas, recorded the song right there, right from the bus. It was it was unbelievable. And um, then we have Max Cavalera, yeah, big fan of Max, uh, and he, he we toured together a couple of times. So so he came out sometimes, sing songs with us before. So it was kind of a given. Jamie Justa from Hebrid, very good friend of us. Same thing, we toured together a lot of times. We have um, Maria Brink yeah. from In This Moment, uh, same story there, and then we have Tech Nine, who's a, a rapper, so it's yeah. gonna be, you know, we have a track that is strategically placed to piss off everyone. It's a, you read me the LL Cool J's Mama Said Not You Are, so, you know, so it's, it's that's, that's, that's Tech Nine guest on that one, and on the second record, we, we will reveal when time comes, but you know, we have some. Some good ones. Excellent. Well, we're going to hear it. Uh, have All a right. great day. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for joining us on the Grand Podcast. Thank you, guys.